Don't I look like 110% pregnant in this ginormous t-shirt? I think I do because it's like a, I don't know, like a double XL or something maybe? Whatever. It's big. <laughs> and it says, ask me about today's free smartphone. I don't have any free smartphones for you. I'm so sorry. Well, no, I'm not really sorry at all because you don't need a smartphone. <laughs> Anyways, oh, I just got lightheaded. Oh, yeah, that reminds me yesterday when I was seeing the midwife, I mentioned how I have been getting lightheaded a lot lately. Like, even if I just like change from here to here, not necessarily like get up really fast because I normally like my iron is kind of low. So, if I stand up too fast or something, I'll black out like everything goes black in front of my eyes, but I don't like pass out, I don't like fall over or anything. So, yeah, I mentioned that, and she said. Well, it could be one of three things, the iron thing, or my blood pressure, which changes during pregnancy. A lot of times people have blood pressure problems. Or third, it could just be that I'm letting my blood sugar get too low because I'm not eating often enough. I like how it could totally possibly be all three of those things at once, so I just got a triple whammy. I just need to make sure that I'm drinking enough water and eating often enough and eating my iron. It's hard to eat iron when it's hard to eat iron. <laughs> it's hard to eat iron rich foods when food in general is still not like on the appealing list. <laughs> I mean I've, I've gotten better. I'm eating like meals and stuff now but they're normally just such smaller portions than I would have eaten a few months ago. I really think my stomach has like shrunk. <laughs> Plus I just get sick if I, if I get it too full. And I'm still really picky. Really, really picky. I guess I need to find iron-rich foods that are on my okay-to-eat list right now.